Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. In the previous video, we had solved or implemented the first question that has been asked in Dropbox interview. So it was the polyfill for the get by class name. In this video, we'll solve the extended or the second question, which is we have to find or we have to get by class name hierarchy. So let's explore the question. The question readers will be given a nested classes nested classes as in we have to find the classes with the references so here if you see this is a css selector that represents child so b is child of a and we have to find all the class in the dom which is so we have to find all the b in the dom that is under a so class a should be its parent and then we have to find all the b that resides under that so this is the sample structure that they have given if you see here the root is with the class a and under that there is one node or div element with the class b so if they have given we have to find the b under a you see that we are getting in the output the id b1 so here if you see we get this in the result and which has the id b1 similarly in the second example they have given that we have to find all the a's that are under b so there is no such representation in the dom that's why we are getting empty array in the result in the third you see that we have to find all the c's that are under a so under a there is only one c and these two c's are under b that's why we are just returning the last c which is c3 that is directly under a so this is the question and the, we have to solution this so this get by class name is extended from the get this get by class name hierarchy is extended from get by class name so i highly recommend going through that video before you know continuing this and you know, seeing the solution because once you have seen this you will be familiar how we are traversing the dom to find all the classes and then it will be easier for you to grasp this question so let's move to code pen and start coding here i have copied the same dom that has been given in the example over here and then we'll start solutioning this so the first let's break down the problem in multiple parts and let's see how we can tackle them individually and after that i'll convert the whole logic to the code so what i'm thinking so i've already solved this problem and the way i've solved this is the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split the input and I will get all the classes from that. So let's say we are given something like this in the input. I'll split them on the greater than arrow and I'll get an array of two classes A and C. Then I'll start traversing the DOM from the root and I'll use a pointer to track let's say index to track which class I am looking for currently in the DOM. So initially I'll start with 0 and then we'll be looking for A in this case because at the index 0 or the first element in the classes list is A. So we'll be looking for A. Once we encounter A and if A has more childs. So what we'll do is we'll increment the index by 1 and we'll say index becomes one and then we'll start looking in the childs of a that if there is any dom element with the class c because the index is a so in the classes list we'll pull the first second element and then we'll start looking for the c similarly if there are more classes then we'll follow the same approach so if we encounter any parent we go one step down so we move the classes list to the next and also we traverse them in all the children so this is how we are going to find the classes so let's start solutioning this let me comment this let me create so the first thing i'll do is i'll create this class find by class name hierarchy and here we'll pass document dot get element by id let's say root and to that we'll pass 
let's say a comma c so here a1 because we don't have root we have a1 so i'll pass a1 to the as the entry point and then inside that we'll start looking or rather i can add an extra wrapper and add a root so while testing we'll add the root so let's start with the a only because this is what we are given in the question statement so let me start creating this function this will accept the root and the class names as input so we have to find an array of nodes because when we are traversing the dom so we will be getting the array of node that's why i'm creating an array as the output result so we require an array and the same will be returned so this is the basic structure we have created for our class and inside that the logic goes like the first thing is we have to split the input class into the array of classes so let's say class list or just classes for simplicity and then i'll split the class name on the arrow greater than arrow this will give me the array of classes now what i'll do is i'll create a helper method that will help me to traverse the dom in dfs way so it will start from the top and it will go to the child so the first child and then it will go to the depth first and then it will move to the siblings so let's create traverse dom a helper function and what traverse dom will take is an element that it will check if that element has the class or not the list of classes the index or the pointer which will use to track which class we have to look for in the element and finally the result now because we are working in javascript the arrays and objects are passed as references to the functions so here i can pass this array as a reference to this function and i can make updates inside here and that same will be reflected in the result because it is passed as reference so we are making use of these things to traverse the dom this way it will be let complex to maintain the result we don't have to explicitly merge every output rather only while traversing the dom if we encounter something we just make a update in the result and the same will be reflected over here so you don't have to return anything from this traverse dom now here let's get the target class that we are looking for currently in the element so classes and the current index whatever the index is so let me start the search over here so here i'll pass root as the entry point and then the classes will start with the first class so i'm passing the index as zero and then the result now how to determine that this is the element we are looking for and we have reached here and we have to terminate our search that means we don't have to further look for its child this is what we are looking for so for that the simple condition we can add is if we are at the last class in the classes list so if we are at the last class in the classes list and that class is present in the elements class list that means we have found what we are looking for so that's the last class beyond that there are no more classes so that's what we are looking for at the end and that if the condition meets so it will terminate the search so here let's say if index is the last index in the classes list so classes dot length minus 1 that means this is the last we are looking for and then if element dot class list dot contains the target class so we have found what we are looking for and then in the result will push the current element and here will terminate so we'll return we don't want to further process otherwise for let 
child of element dot children so for each child of the current element first thing is if element class list dot contains the target class so this is the base condition to determine if we have reached to the end class that we are looking for otherwise let's say you are at a or you are at the first index or at the second index so in that case if the element is the one whose child can have the target class that we are looking for so let's say here currently we are at the index 0 so this condition won't meet because we have two elements in the array so it will come over here and then in the loop what we check is if the current element has the class a so let's say if you are looking for this and this has the class a so what we say is recursively call the same function traverse tom and to this pass the child so each child of the element and then the classes list and increase the index by one and ultimately at the end pass the result so because we increase the index by one it will start looking for the next class so it will start looking for C otherwise if the list is not present then we have to continue looking for the first class itself so simply copy this the same thing will happen but we will look for the first class only so that's why I am passing 0 because the first class itself is not found so we have to find it find it and once it's find then we have to move to the its immediate child so simple that's it that's our solution i think it should work let's run this and see if we are getting the desired output or not so see in the output we are getting we have found the div class c with the id c3 so that's what we are looking for a c now if i change this to b you see that we'll get b1 in the output so we are getting b1 now because it's written in the complete dom structure uh, it may seems like uh, there are multiple elements but you see the count is only one in the array and it is only returning b1 for simplicity i can add the id itself in while returning the element rather than the complete element so if i run this you'll see that b1 will be returned in the output now let's look for a b c so here if I pass C, you will see that we will get C1 and C2 in the output. So C1 and C2. And here also if you see A, B, C is passed then C1 and C2 is written. If B, C is passed then also C1 and C2 is written. So let's try that. Let me run B and C. So see C1 and C2 is written and any other cases let's say we have to find only c so let's run that too so only with the c then there are three classes c1 c2 and c3 so all should be written in the list so if i run this you see c1 c2 and c3 all are getting returned so our solution is working perfectly fine i hope you have learned something new if you like if you like the solution please do share subscribe and share the video with your friends thank you for your time